All right, we're in this early warning weather alert given that we'll have some heavy rain by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night that could lead to some poor drainage flooding. Also, our smaller streams, creeks, and even some of the larger rivers recently have been at or above flood stage, so that could be uh, further compounding the, the situation as we could see upwards of one to two inches of rain. In the meantime, we're enjoying a cooler but otherwise storm-free and quiet day on this Thursday across Connecticut. Upper 40s currently in the, here in the noon hour in the Northwest Hills, low 50s elsewhere inland, 52-53 currently along the 95 corridor and we've got this northwesterly wind around 5 to 10 miles an hour that's been funneling some cooler air into the state. So our eye can view from Torrington showing a lot of blue, but as well some scattered uh, mid and high level clouds looking toward the horizon. Also downstream of the Connecticut River from Middletown, you can see uh, some scattered cloudiness there as well and more of the same looking live from New London. So we'll see at times filtered sun this afternoon. Temperatures may be working at a degree or two in the upper direction to uh, see our highs this afternoon. Top out basically between 50 and 55 inland, mid 50s along the shoreline and stuck in the upper 40s uh, in the northwest hill. So you can see those clouds working across southern New England. Any sort of rain right now is well offshore, and that is where it will remain for the rest of today. But looking at the big picture, uh, energy moving along the Gulf Coast states heads up in our direction, and that's going to bring us uh, this drenching rain, uh, something that we really don't need much more of. Uh, we've obviously been in a very wet and stormy pattern, and this is one that will continue for us. So here we've got you Friday morning on Futurecast at uh, 7 a.m. I think sunshine tomorrow morning will be fairly limited. Clouds will generally be on the increase, uh, so becoming mostly cloudy, if not just uh overcast and by around two o'clock tomorrow afternoon still dry across Connecticut uh, precipitation off to our west begins falling here in Connecticut in the form of rain uh, around or after the evening commute from west to east and we'll stop the clock at 11 p.m. tomorrow we've got the darker shades of green yellows and oranges showing up indicating that threat for some heavy rain later tomorrow evening into the early overnight hours of Saturday so as we get closer to daybreak Saturday notice how the rain is winding down lifting away from Connecticut and clearing will be taking place thereafter so at least the weekend is looking good uh, and storm free with regard to rainfall totals. Generally speaking across southern New England, uh, we'll likely see upwards of an inch or two of rain where the axis of heaviest rain uh, sets up uh, is really yet to be determined, but um, it's going to be again a soaking rain generally an inch or two. So on our seven day forecast for Saturday, uh, high temperatures in the upper 40s with partial clearing. The wind is going to get cranking over the first half of the weekend, not as windy on Sunday, mostly sunny. We'll start off in the upper 20s by the afternoon, make our way to the lower 40s. Then Monday, next week starts off dry, mid 40s, so temperatures still running below average. Keep in mind our normal high is 55. And then another storm moves up in our direction Monday night into Tuesday. Now initially in the Northwest Hills, early Tuesday morning, uh, we may have a little wintry mix, but this will be primarily a cold rain for much of the state, but something we're going to keep a close uh, eye on as we head through the coming days. And for shoreline highs this weekend, near 50 on Saturday, about five degrees cooler on Sunday afternoon. All right. Well, there you have it.